Hello, women meant to be married. You know, one thing that I am learning about the spirit, it's it's one spirit and it's not telling us all different things. I had put down for us for this year, Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19, get to church this morning and lo and behold, that is what my pastor was teaching us on this morning. And let me read it to you for those of you who don't know it. It's one of my favorite scriptures, so I know it. But I don't like to uh, get any of the words mixed up in the Word of God. So I'm going to read it from the Bible. And it says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. So anything 2017, ladies, let it go. I don't care if it was last night. And, hey, let it go. Uh, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. This is God. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? So you got to you gotta know it, ladies. I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. And I think some um, translations say rivers. And so it's such a picture to get in your mind of what God can do and will do in your marriage, ladies. You are this man's wife, ladies. And I just want you to know that if... It hasn't been what you needed it to be and you feel like okay Lynn I've been praying I've been praying I've been praying you know my pastor said something this morning that stayed with me and he said you know it may not happen until December now think about it this January December is how many months away and so but we've got to believe and if God has told you now that's I'm a firm believer because I know you all you know maybe some of you do remember a while back when I told you that God had given me the book of Esther the you know the the year of preparation and I was so excited I'm like yeah God gonna fix my marriage you know I'm all excited and happy and but God never told me that and some of the other women who had initially gotten on the prayer line they had always you know talked about how God said that their husbands were gonna do this and that and the other and I'm like wait a minute God never told me that about my marriage <laughs> so if God has told you something then it shouldn't be a surprise or it shouldn't be a wonder to, as to, okay, when is it going to show up? Because he said it. And one thing about God, if he said it, he's going to do it. Now, it was a wonder for me because I was in denial anyway. I knew the truth and I didn't want to accept it. But ladies, if the Lord has told you something about your marriage, then I promise you, you stand on that. You keep believing that. You keep telling yourself that. You keep calling those things that be not as though they were. And understand that you have authority as his wife. And guess what, ladies? <laughs> when I think about 1 Peter 3 and 1, and it talks about the fact that the men are won over by the conduct of their wives, not by what their wives say or them getting no attitude or mad, because I know this is the first Sunday of the year and some somebody didn't go to church and some of y'all mad. And there's no need to be. There's no need to be. Because him going to church don't mean a thing if his heart is not changing. So again, thereby it brings up the prayer line. So you ladies, come on, let's do this thing. But real talk, you know, set some goals, ladies. Don't worry about no resolution. Set some goals and let's get through this. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. Whatever promise that he gave you about your marriage, you stand on that. And I'm standing on it with you. And I'm in agreement. And this month, the month of January, I'm trying to get more intentional every month to have a prayer focus. So our prayer focus for the month of January is forgiveness and communication. So ladies, like I always say on the prayer line, nobody can pray for your household better than you can. So let's get it, ladies. I don't want you to forget that... Um, you are a woman meant to be married. You are a woman who is married and know your role, play your role, and never forget that God loves you and that he sent his only son to die for you. And I love you, ladies. And I'm your biggest cheerleader. And y'all know, y'all can call me. Y'all can inbox me. I'm there for you. And again, I do this because I didn't have it, ladies. I didn't have a cheerleader. I didn't always have somebody that I could call. You know, people get tired of hearing the same old thing. But I didn't know either to pray about it, you know. Or rather, I knew. But at some point, I stopped doing everything that I needed to do. So do what you need to do, ladies. Not just the praying for him. Sometimes you need to send up a prayer for yourself to be strengthened. So...
And let's just do it together, believing that God will. He cares and he will. Until next time, ladies, remember who you are in God and that you are a woman meant to be married. He ordained it, ladies. Hey, you said yes. <laughs>